What up gamers, fans here here, and welcome back to Weathering Wave. So this video here is my second take into recording this because during the first take, I did a whole video, like a complete video on it, but I didn't feel like it was worth showing because it did feel very lackluster, at least in the, I guess, the story and progression departments because all I really did to progress and for any story things that has been going on is that I did the whole uh, world level um i guess raising where now every enemy is right now should be around level 40 at least and i guess i can show a little bit of that right now hello rover the system has recognized that you have embarked on a unique journey with your own companions and narrative as previously instructed i will set up a test for you in jinjo wilderness once you pass the test uh the a key to the unknown will reveal itself to you who are you I promise to stand by you unwaveringly, uh, unwaveringly, as you begin your journey, and as you grow stronger, I will grant access you access to more keys to unravel the mysteries that lie ahead. There are countless unexplored parts of the world waiting for you, and I hope you are prepared to embrace the unknown. I wish you a pleasant journey. Is there supposed to be an NPC that's supposed to be here? I think so. Oh wait. Not, not an NPC, but a portal. And I'm frozen. Alright, come on. You can do it, game. I believe in you. Uh, solo challenge. Here we go. Let's do it. Yes, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Hey, 14 seconds left. <laughs> nice. So yeah, I did that. I also did more of the overdash club stuff. And yeah, I just didn't feel like I want to show that, just mainly the Ascension Quest stuff because there was some dialogue. Um, and also I did some op openings too, uh, where if I can show my inventory. Um, yeah, I did uh, I did do some openings, like even with the, the weapon um, opening for the first time. Yeah, I got the, I think it was the variation is what I got when I did the weapon um, opening. Um, I, I use the thing in the store, if I can go to it, uh, where I bought that uh, monthly, I guess, I'm guessing it's going to be monthly because it's been, I guess, over a month um, for the extension or like the duration. But yeah, pretty much I bought the, uh, the weapon uh, thing over here and then I used six of them to spend. So yeah, my, uh, <laughs> I just want to see if I can get any, anything good and I, I guess I did kind of, I got that. Uh, one weapon um but yeah i thought the the first recording of this video was not that good but in this video man i mean yeah we'll be doing some openings too yeah also with the openings um in my first recording i did go ahead and do some more of the openings over here and yeah i am recording this pretty much a day after um yinlin was released but yeah i did some more openings i believe around um four or five openings so um <laughs> I do want to open up some more. I did collect the that one login in the event. I got those already um, taken, which I guess is not going to be here anymore since I finished it. No, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's here. Oh wait, no, no, that's that's not it. <laughs> wait, where is it? I guess it's not here anymore. But the one where you get San Hua, um, I got the the two um, free limited uh, pulls there. And also, I did not collect my email, which I know they had more free pulls, which I do want to do uh, right off the bat. So let me go and claim all. There we go. And then, uh, what else? Do we have anything else to claim? I did play a lot on my own time. Um, I guess we can claim that. Yeah, we'll be doing a lot of pulls. I want to see if I can get... Yeah, I do want to see if I can get Gion here, man. <laughs> and maybe his weapon, too. Um... We got some trophies. Yeah, I think to start things out, we'll just do a lot of openings here. Doing a lot. I'll be doing it them um, individually. Because I just want to be careful about it. You know, I want to conserve since I'm almost to the pity. There we go. Wow, wait, what the heck? Oh, I missed on these? I thought, I, thought, I thought I'd been collecting them. I don't know. I guess something... Um, well, I, was, I used to be at... Oh right, the um the mail they give us the pioneer XP thing. That was ten levels worth. I was it used to be a nine. 
Jeez, okay. Anyways, let's go do some convenes. <laughs> to start it out over here in this video. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing just one at a time. I want to see if I can get Gion. Or you know what? Um, let's go for his weapon first to see if we can do it. We got five pulls. I should be at six with the counter. Um, so yeah. Do that. We'll do it one by one. Okay. And... Did something... Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. And yeah, that's normal. Yeah, when, it, when they don't have the shine, it's... That's like... That's like the normal thing to do. Alright. Do it again. Or like normal get. Yeah, no, no shine means three stars pretty much. But yeah, you know, that's... Like in the previous video when I saw that, that was my first time seeing it. Because, you know, I don't normally just pull for for these single ones. Alright. What do we get? So the next one... I mean, we'll see. You got like one more, right? Four star? Nope. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Nothing good in the weapon. Okay, what about uh, Gion over here? So yeah, we got pretty much maybe 15 pulls. No, 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 16. Oh, let's see if we can do it, man. Okay. No shine. I always inspect them. Like, by accident. Okay. Wait, that's purple. Wait, does that mean anything? Oh, oh it does. Another afternoon consultation, I see. Oh, it what doesn't have to shine. Day? Okay. Because, yeah, when I kept opening, I noticed that there, there wasn't any shine. I thought that meant that it was just a three star, but I guess it doesn't have to shine, like, really brightly. Maybe only on the ten poles. Hmm. So we got uh, Tao Chi. Okay. I don't know anything about her, but she does look pretty cool. Okay, so it's blue. Okay, so I, I guess... I can do this fast. Now that I know that it doesn't have to shine. Okay. I just look at the color. The blue means three stars, and the purple means uh, four. Oh boy, guys. Oh boy. Oh wait, I just got another of Mortify. I think I did get another copy of him. I forgot if I did, but I think I got him. Like trying to remember on the top of my head. I got another four star? Oh, it's a weapon. What is what the heck is this? Oh, another variation. Okay. 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 Three star. Almost there, guys. But yeah, Mortify is about to be like one of my best characters, man. Because I've been getting a lot of copies of him. Which is cool because, you know, when, when I first saw Mortify, I thought he looked it so cool, man. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, we're not getting Gion. But you know what? It's fine. If you don't get Gion here. Because I, I think um, if you add all this up, we're pretty much in our 70s. And that means it's only like 10 more pulls until we can guarantee that we can get a, a five star. Dang, dude. All right. Yeah, and then we can do one more after this. Okay. <laughs> one more to go. So yeah, pretty much around 10 is what I'm guaranteed a five star. Dang, okay. Well, yeah, I tried. There's nothing else I can do to maybe get some easy free ones. I mean, yeah, I know I know, I have plenty of things to do that I can easily get those things back. Um, but yeah, I'm also Union level 23 now. Yeah, my Union level is 23. And because of that, I can move on with the main quest. But I do want to finish up the one that we kind of started here. Because we got close to Chisia here. So yeah, we got to talk to her. We got this whole side quest going on. Alright, Rover, appear before me. 
And by the way, the performance of the game kind of changed up for me. I don't know if, they be if it's because of the update or if it's because like, you know, I, I did try that one. <laughs> I, I like saw this one post where like somebody just run Genshin in the background while playing um, this game. And I noticed that it, the performance was a bit different. I don't know if that actually improved it or not. Um, or if it was an actual update. But yeah, I can't tell. Um, am I ready? Yes, I am. Awesome. Let's do this. Uh, Grandpa uh, Jingshu uh, said it's the best time for echo catching. And I'm ready to snag a bunch. So yeah, we'll do this side quest first because we kind of be began it. Uh, Grandpa Jingshu, are you ready with... Uh, done, are you done with the treatments? That was quick. Oh, don't let this old man's age fool you. I'm still y strong, and these injuries hardly slow me down. Um, really? Um, though it does seem like you're totally fine now. Of course, I'm used to injuries. Anyways, I'm feeling perfectly fine now. Shall we go? Are you coming with us, Grandpa Jingshu? Of course. How could I let you youngsters handle my affairs while I sit around? It's dangerous outside Jinshou, and I'm familiar with the situation there. I'm sure I can be some help. What? <laughs> Don't worry. This old man is used to be quite something in his day. Even though I'm old now, I can still hold my own against any danger. Okay, Grandpa Jingshu. Uh, promise me you'll take care of yourself. If anything dangerous pops up, uh, don't try to tough it out. Just give me a holler right away. After all, it is part of my patroller duties. Alright. Oh. Um, LBR. There we go. And that was it, right? Are they in the same area? I'm guessing so. So if I go to the... Uh, let's go to the quest. Because I, I guess that will make us go there like right away. In our quest, uh, where is it at? Is it this one, right? Yeah. Let me just cancel the tracking and re-enable it just so that it can just take me right over there already. Okay, it's right over there. So we can just fast travel here if you want to. Alright, here we are. Let's go and locate the Havoc Warriors. But yeah, like I said, I did um, run Genshin in the background when, when I was playing this. And one thing that I noticed when I did do that is that um, the performance was, I guess, a lot better for exploring around. But it took a while for all the NPCs and stuff to load in, which I'm guessing is happening right now. I'm guessing there, there should be NPCs. So yeah, I don't know if me doing that actually affected this game or if it really was an update. I'm assuming it's an update. Just because, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not running Genshin right now. And it also took a while for them to um, spawn in. Oh, by the way, dude, those Midnight Rangers. Dude, this game is so amazing that, you know, I was just doing my dailies, my, my daily quests. And I saw these Midnight Rangers, they actually fight back. Like, we actually have, like, friendly, um, like, AI to help us, which is so awesome, man. Like, just imagine in Genshin, like, just fighting with the Knights of, of Avonius. Or like during the whole war in Inazuma, if you can have like the uh, <laughs> the rebellion there just fight with you, like dude, like these guys, man, they're so cool. Like I like just fighting with them, and that does make me want to just play as a uh, you know get Geon, just so that when I'm out in open world, I can just pretend like I'm just fighting with them as like the Midnight Rangers. It just feels it's gonna feel so immersive for me. It's gonna be be a lot of fun. Anyways, uh, Chisia. Uh, what's up? What's next in our our quest to obtain the Echo? We're almost there. Stick close to me. Grandpa Jingshu, are you feeling alright? I'm feeling perfectly good. Instead of worrying about of me, let's focus on these tacit discords. You're right. There's a whole bunch of tacit discords around. Which one do you think we should capture first? Uh, the formidable one. The formidable one are always the most impressive. It's the one in the same. Oh man, are these guys gonna be the ones that fight with me if we find them? Uh, let me think. The most formidable and impressive one around here is Havoc Warrior. Let's capture it. Havoc Warrior. Oh wait, I thought it was gonna be the grandpa. <laughs> um, Havoc Warrior is the monster with those big sights, right? It's indeed impressive. Grandpa Jingshu, I had no idea you were so knowledgeable about tacit discords. Of course, back in my prime with my captain, we captured all kinds of tacit discords. 
Hmm? There are several Havoc warriors ahead. Let's go. Are they going to appear with us here? Like, can we fight? Oh, dude, can they fight with us? Hold on, hold on. Let me go over here. Oh, boy. So, can they actually fight with us? That'd be sick. Yeah, so here we go. So, they also have their own health bars and stuff, and... I, I guess they don't fight back. <laughs> Fury I guess uh, we gotta be the ones to fight them. Oh. Dodge. Confirmed. Yeah, I guess they, they guess they, <laughs> they can't fight back right now. But dude, when I saw them like helping out, like all the oh yeah, all they did was just pretty much stand around and shoot. But like, it's so much better than like, you know, just me fighting alone. I feel like I'm just part of the actual army, like fighting with the Midnight Rangers. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I knew we could pull it off. Um, let's all go and absorb it. There we go. Nice, we got one Havoc Warrior. Let's go report back. Hey. Check it out, Grandpa Jingshu. These massive sites are just too cool, huh? Hmm, not bad. Uh, sh she should be pleased with this uh, this time. I hope just this once she'll stay long enough for me to hear, hear me out before walking straight away. <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. What if you transform into the sides? That'll definitely impress her. Oh, uh, please don't, dear. She might be scared. Perhaps we should gather a few more, just to be sure. Havoc Warrior is certainly undoubtedly impressive, but relying on a single echo might not be enough to capture her heart. We need a collection, a display of multiple echoes to truly leave an impression. Uh, yes, having a bunch of echoes following behind turns heads, but how do we snag more? To a tested field, tested discords are drawn to those um, grounds like mods to a flame. Shh, I think I sense it. The frequencies of the tacit field. There's a tacit field nearby. Is this gonna be like the those those um the one that the one that consumes the wave plates? I'm I'm gonna guess so. Ooh. Inferno. I got near one of them and there was a, a tutorial, but I didn't really read it. But I'm assuming you know they're just there to you know have these daily echoes that you can use with the wave plates. Alright, I should lock on. But yeah, I do think the performance at least got better. And by the way, if I'm playing a bit weird... Or like, or like a bit differently, it's because I'm actually using a new controller. Like, it's been a long time since I've really used a different controller. But I bought a new one because the old one that I've been using for like... I don't know, the past like half a decade or so? Maybe the past decade, probably. Because I had this controller like way back. Oh look, there's, there's more I can absorb here. Nice. Go and dodge. Stand down. So yeah, if I play weirdly, it's because I'm just not used to my new controller yet. <laughs> but you know, in this game, I think it's fine, you know. It's not bad that bad for me to play. Ooh, the big one. Heck yeah. Nice. Dude, dodging in this game is the most satisfying part. Like, one of the most satisfying parts in this game. In my opinion. Nice. Um, okay. Here we go. Here's your stuff, dude. Uh, Grandpa Jingzhu, are these echoes enough? Absolutely, see? The echoes obtained with this... Obtaining this tacit field can make up with the team... Make up a team of Havoc with a Havoc Warrior. Hmm, let me take a look. You're right. Finn's here. Luck is on your side, huh? Putting together a team so quickly. Usually it takes a, a quite a bit of effort to form an Echo Team. Form an Echo Team. Oops, my bad. I got carried away and forgot to explain what it's all about. Hmm, give me a sec. I'm searching for the right words here. Oh, wait, that's Chisia. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was the old man. Um, as you already know, each Echo has their own unique frequency. When we gather several Echoes together, it's like... It's like having a bunch of people playing different instruments. Most of the time, the melodies clash and it's a total mess. But there are times when melodies blend together perfectly, creating a beautiful harmony. 
For me, not kill team is just like that. I hope that made sense. Anyway, why not just give it a shot yourself? It's the quick quickest way to understand. Equip echoes accordingly to make a two-piece set. Well, that's what I, what I already did in my own time. <laughs> I've done that, done that already. Okay. Well done, well done indeed. This local team is much more impressive than mine back in the day. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I can feel the confidence swelling within me. Let's return to Jinjo and dazzle her. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I can already picture the look on her face. Alright. <laughs> Practice is opening lines. Sure thing. Um, I guess I go to the map. It's gonna be back in Jinjo, right? So I know where to go from here. Uh, just all the way down and yep, just right over there, I guess. So we'll just fast travel here. All right, we're back and look at freaking Kelcharo with his. I'm guessing that's his Echo. Yeah, I'm guessing that's his. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> make our way over here. Go and jump. All right. Um. Hey there. Let's go and practice your lines. Talk. Rover, get back out. Get out over here. Look at that cat just moonwalking. <laughs> oh no, it actually moved this time. All right. Our house is over there. Um. I just I've walked that way path many times, and I won't make a mistake. Before I go knock in our door, there's a favor I must ask you. Ahem, I prepared some opening lines and I need your assistance in delivering them. Opening lines. Well, just some nice words carefully chosen and I believe they'll definitely do the trick. Uh, do you know what's sweeter than any bloom? Not the water lamps glow, nor the iris, iris's uh, perfume, but the blossom of our love's perfect tune. Do you know what lasts forever in weathering waves? Wait, weathering waves? Wait, is Wuthering Waves an actual term in this game? You know, it's like Genshin Impact. Like, if, if a character says Genshin Impact in that game, but I I don't think they ever said it before. Wait, is Wuthering Waves, like, an actual term? Or are they just breaking the fourth wall? Uh, not fleeting civilizations, nor, nor tacit discourse lore, but my unwavering love for you forevermore. I have no idea. <laughs> Wait. I don't know. Well, Grandpa Jingshu, what are these? Popular love messages in Huanglong. Ahem, I, I know it must seem a bit strange for someone of my age to say such things, but as long as I can win her heart, I can put aside my pride. I'm counting on you. After I say my line, you follow up to set the perfect mood. I require a raise. Of course, I won't stint on compensation. Your efforts will be duly rewarded. That's settled then. Thank you, kids. Wait, that was it? Okay. Visit, uh, Ling Han. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of like pushed her for a bit. My bad. There she is, a uh, Ling Han, my, my beloved wife, wife to be. And this flower is? It's the Noctimint, her favorite flower. I'm about to ask her, would you accept this Noctimint and join me on a lifelong journey? But alas, my efforts seem to fall short. I truly hope she'll appreciate this Noctimint this time. Perhaps with my carefully prepared opening lines and the majestic echoes you've captured, she'll finally accept my love. Do you remember the opening lines? I'll say my line first, and you'll follow up. Remember, to set the mood. Uh, sure. Um, always ready. Whoa, friends here. Um, your passion is contagious. You got me fired up too. Do you know what's sweeter than any bloom? Not the water lamps glow, nor the irises perfume, but the blossom of our love's perfect tune. Good, better strike the iron while it's hot. Do you know what lasts forever in wuthering waves? Not fleeting uh, civilizations, nor tacit discourse lore, but my unwavering love for you forevermore. Uh, you're done. Please excuse me. Wait, I have a surprise for you. Hurry, show her those majestic echoes. Uh, sure. I got a scary one here. Wait, projector. Oh, wait, we can actually play as them? Oh, snap, projector. Okay, um, we'll do number four. 
or projector. Okay. And then we equip it there. Um, I gotta wait for my cooldown to, <laughs> to cool down. And here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, we just summoned them to the field. Well, you know, they're, they're just, they're not gonna fight though. <laughs> you like my scary one here? I think it's an overlord class. Um, look, aren't these echoes impressive? These two youngsters assisted me in capturing them. Ling Han, we're of similar age, with shared interests. I hold your dear wit and desire, nothing more than to journey through life with you. Would you do me the honor of accepting this Noctimint? Uh, speaking of echoes, that's my specialty. If you're aiming to become an, an echo master, you can't judge an echo solely from its appearance. Take this carapace, for instance. Despite its imposing signs, it may not be what it seems. What truly counts is finding the echo that resonates with you and nurturing it wisely. Always remember, never let your appearances sway your decisions. Yes, yes. So might you consider accepting this Noctimint? No, thank you. I'm not interested. I'd rather bask in the sunshine and enjoy some dry melon seeds all by myself. Dang. Too bad for you. She went home before he could say anything. <laughs> you alright, dude? Are you alright, old man? I'm sorry. Grandma Ling Han turned him down, right? It's definitely a rejection. She didn't accept my Noctimint. What about Jing Shu? You must be very upset. Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. I'm feeling a little down about it too. Hey, Grandpa Jing Shu, how about we shake it off with, off the blues with a stroll? Or maybe grab a bite to eat? I know a place that serves great Mao Kai. Spicy but delicious. I'm not disheartened, not in the slightest. I've been reflecting on Ling Han's words and it's become clear to me. She wasn't rejecting me, she, she was urging me to nurture the echoes with care. It's her way of guiding me forward. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Uh, she truly does care about me. I'm starting to wonder if Grandpa Jing Shu bumped his head. Come along, my young friends. There's no time to waste. We're leaving the city, city to gather the materials we needed. Uh, needed. Wait, Grandma Jing Shu, take it easy. It's getting late, and you're still recovering from your injury. Plus, fence here must be beat after capturing all those echoes. Oh, my apologies. I got carried away and lost track of time. You must be exhausted. Let's do it an another day. Ah, uh, almost forgot. Here's a compensation. Please accept it. Um, if you insist. <laughs> Good, next time I ask for help, I'll also pay you a decent sum. It's how connections are forged, isn't it? Take it, kid, you've earned it. The next time I ask for your help, I'll also pay you a decent sum. It's how connections are forged, isn't it? You both worked it you both worked it hard today. Hurry home and rest up, thank you. Nice, are we done? Hey, there we go. By the way, I've been getting this call from Cheesy a lot. I'm not sure what's up with this. Um Hey there, Rover. Remember Grandpa Jing Shu? Of course. <laughs> yeah, the one who said my unwavering love thing. So I ran into him earlier, and he needs our help in snagging echoes again, hence the call. Sure, why not? Awesome, we'll catch you near the training grounds then. Okay. Well, that was fast. We got like another one to do. Okay, I mean, it's really nearby, so we are not too far off. Um, I want to switch back my... Thing to the grappling hook. There we go. So it should be the grappling hook, right? Yep. Hey, there we go. Freaking love that. <laughs> oh, wow, so we're not even done with this whole thing yet. We still got more to do. Well, yeah, we'll have to, like, uh, you know, save that for next time. Hopefully, we can finish things up with this whole echo thing within the next video. And then during the 20th video, we can use that one hour video there to, to start the Geon quest. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, there he is again. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Gonna go help out help out the old man again. Um, but yeah, I think I'll go and end it here because I think that might be pretty much like a part two. Well, do, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How much convenience do I have now? Because I don't know, maybe I can... Oh, I can't do another one. I mean, like the asteroids, I mean. Yeah, I only got like six. 
Is there anything I can I can just accept here or no? Because I've been seeing that that mark. I guess not. What about the events? Just any last minute stuff <laughs> that I can just collect? <laughs> oh my gosh! I just wanted these um these convenes, man. Hmm. I mean, yeah, maybe I can just also just do the Overdash Club on my own time. But I just, I just want to do it right away, man. Like, do some more openings. We got like 10 more to go, and I could be lucky with those. But yeah, guys, um, that'll be it for now. That's game. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.